Good morning everyone, here from Houston, Texas in the US. This is where me and Carol used to live before we started traveling full time. Well not in this house, this is my friend's house called Richard's but yeah we did live around this area. And we've been here for the past couple of weeks, uh, we were just resolving stuff, stuff with the bank and also resolving stuff with electronics because here in the US you get good deals so yeah bought a new laptop and some camera gear stuff like that and during the last weeks in Baja California we found out that anybody can get vaccinated here in Houston so yeah we decided to get vaccinated here because we thought we'd have to go to Brazil and our age group's only going to be like September for the first dose and I think probably like next year or something for the second dose so it's going to take ages and over here they're just vaccinating anyone you don't have to be a u.s citizen you don't have to have even any id or anything they won't reject anyone so about two weeks ago we got the first jab we got the pfizer vaccine and today we're going to be heading to get our second one so yeah that will be that done with and we're going to try and head there and film it this time Obviously during this uh, past year or two, we've been documenting how things are in the countries we've been visiting with COVID and we also filmed the beginning. So might as well document what we're hoping is the beginning of the end. And it is looking very promising. Here in the US, they have vaccinated um, I think over 50% of the people now and they've been reopening the past few weeks. And even with reopening and crowds gathering and stuff like that, the cases and deaths are just going down. So. Yeah, I'm, I'm optimistic anyway that this thing's uh, the start, the beginning of the end of this thing. I really hope so. So Carol's just requesting the uh, Uber. Yeah, so Uber has this thing where if you are going to get vaccinated, they are giving free rides. So we just requested one and instead of paying $15, we're just going to pay nothing to go there. And as usual, I'm still dressed for the beach. <laughs> Carol doesn't approve. Well... If you were in Rio de Janeiro, I would approve because everybody wears flip-flops there, but... We're in Houston de Janeiro. <laughs> yeah, Houston de Janeiro. Well, people don't care. It doesn't care, so should be fine. <laughs> <laughs> flip-flops forever. Okay, thank you. What's the name for the appointment? Uh, it's Christopher Danson and Carolina de Almeida. Do you have, this is your second dose of Pfizer? Yes, yeah, yeah, second. I need your ID and your card. Okay, here. All right, so for both of you, you're going to answer this question. 1 through 11, only thing you're going to do on the back side of them is sign and today's date, nothing else, okay? Okay, okay thank you. All right, you're welcome. Thank you. This is yours. Oh, that's oh, mine. Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so this is where we're going to get the COVID vaccine, just in this little booth there. All right, sit here. Uh -huh. And this is going to be your card. Okay, thank you. What kind of camera is that? It's a Insta360 Go. Oh, okay. Very small, right? Yeah, I like <laughs> that. Alright, done? Done. <laughs> Alright, cool. So that was nice and easy, wasn't it? Yeah, it didn't hurt, so... We'll see how it is go for the next day. I'm not sure if they are moving sore. So they just ask us to stay in the store for like 10-15 uh, minutes just to make sure we're, we're okay. There shouldn't be any reaction anyway. And some of my friends, they really got hit hard when they took the second dose. But I know other people that didn't feel anything at all. So yeah, hopefully we're, we're good the next few days. So the stores in the US always have pretty much everything you can think of <laughs> so i've been having some gut issues actually had it for years so i got some probiotics apple cider vinegar and turmeric extract
here come the, the guard dogs. Alex. Calm down, Alex. <laughs> He's a good guard dog. And you, little one. So a few days have passed since we got the vaccine. We ended up being pretty wiped out for about two days, just really tired and uh, the arm was sore as well, so we couldn't do much. So I think if you do get the vaccine, definitely don't uh, plan anything because yeah, we couldn't really do much, right? No, we were very tired for two days. Now we'll talk about our travel plans because um, obviously since we got the vaccine now, there is a lot more possibilities for us. So we have one trip that is already booked and that's to Dominican Republic. We're going there in, I don't know, 10 or 12 days from today. And after that, we are planning on visiting some other Caribbean islands, but we're not sure which ones. We're thinking about maybe Curaçao and uh, Aruba. Aruba. Yeah, but we'll have to see because, as you know, the rules are changing, but we think uh, we'll be able to go, uh, but we have to see. Yeah, that's the only thing like short term that's planned and then after that it would be finally Brazil. We were supposed to go to Brazil in April, so we weren't supposed to stay in Mexico so long. We were going to go to Brazil, but then Brazil were like deep in their second wave and um, yeah, there's like no chance of really people getting vaccinated there. Well, people are getting vaccinated, it's just really slow. And we also had a lot of family members that were sick and unfortunately even passed away. So. It just didn't seem like a good place to go. Still doesn't, to be honest. Our, our family members tell us not to go, right? Yeah, but it's been two years since the last time I saw my mom and my dad, my family. So I think we really need to go there. And we hope we hope that in the next uh, month or so, when we get there, the situation will be a little bit better because apparently now the vaccinations are uh, going and a little bit faster but we'll have to see how it is but uh, I think we're going there for sure yeah in about two months time probably we at least wanted Carol's parents to have both vaccines because we're gonna be staying with them so even though we're vaccinated I know you can still kind of get the virus there's less chance but we don't really want to stay with her parents and have the chance of passing the virus to them without them being protected so yeah, we always wanted to wait for that and I think they're supposed to be vaccinated their second dose within the month or something. Yeah, in July I think so. Yeah, so so that's pretty much the, the short term plan that we got planned. Not even short term, that's probably like the next four or five months. I think we're going to spend about two or three months in, in Brazil yeah. and then maybe a month or two in the Caribbean now. So that will take us to the end of this year and then we were hoping to go to like Greece or something but we think it will be like too much into the winter in Europe by then. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so maybe we'll have to leave our aero trip to next year. But we were thinking about maybe going to Southeast Asia by the end of the year, but we're still not sure how the situation will be, right, uh, how the situation will be there. We're not sure if they will be open, the, the country, so we have to wait to make yeah. plans. <laughs> I know before like Thailand were letting vaccinated people in. I think some other countries as well, so um, I think only if you're vaccinated. And there's going to be quite a few countries next year, quite a lot actually, that will only let vaccinated people in, I think. So um, that might be for the next few years. There's always going to be a few like Mexico, Dominican Republic, Brazil, that you can go even without a vaccine. But I don't know, maybe once those countries, the majority are vaccinated, I don't know if they're going to only allow vaccinated people in as well. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I know that some, some countries in Europe, like Iceland, they're uh, allowing vaccinated people, like Americans, so that's a good thing for us, as I, I guess. Yeah, so I guess that's our plan, and like we said, maybe Southeast Asia by the end of the year, we'll have to see. But uh, if we go, we probably go to the countries that we haven't been to yet, like Malaysia, and I don't know which ones. <laughs> Yeah, I think Malaysia is only the, the like the major one that we haven't been to yet, but we still yeah. wanted to do other places in like Indonesia. There's loads of islands that we haven't seen yet. And then hopefully next year we can do like a proper Euro trip 
there's still other areas we want to do as well. We want to do like Northern Africa, even the East Coast, like Tanzania. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We want to do that. We have a list of like, I don't know, 20 places, 20 countries that we want to go. So I think we're going to try and like prioritize those countries. I know there, there was all different regions. We had like Japan, Oman, Morocco, Namibia, yeah. all sorts of different places. So I think we're going to pri prioritize that list once everything gets back to normal. But I still think for this year, things aren't going to be normal anyway, and maybe even going into the start of next year. So we just have to see how things are. Yeah, and just uh, keep following our videos, you know where we go. Yeah. It's time to take the dog for walkies. The dogs. Alex, walkies. Come on, come down. And you. <laughs> come on, Alex. Walkies. Okay. Man, Alex doesn't care. <laughs> you want to go, don't you? Oh, now you want to walk. Ready for walkies, Alex? The other leg. Yes. There you go. Your turn, Alex. Do they have the poop bags no. and the orange thing? No? Okay. So that's one of the benefits of staying with <laughs> Richard, isn't it? Alex. Hey, chill out. <laughs> Anyway, I was saying that's one of the benefits of staying with our friend. We get to have two dogs for a while. We get to have yeah. pets. Because we want pets, but yeah, obviously we can't because we travel full time. Mm -hmm. These are two nice dogs as well. Pretty chill. So it's been insanely hot here, here in uh, Texas. Are they doing peeing on other people's property? Yeah, all the time. That's it, Alex, pee on other people's things. <laughs> Good boy. Yeah, so it's been really hot here in Texas. Like the last few days, 38 degrees Celsius. Like way too hot to do anything. Like even now we've just been walking for about a minute, but it's already like too hot. So we haven't actually done too much because yeah, it's just too hot to walk around. Oh no, number two. That's too much. Hey, it's your dog. Your dog, I'll take care of my dog. Go on, Carol. Oh, Alex. Alex, stop screwing up people's grass. <laughs> you got it, Carol? It's a nice one. Oh. <laughs> Alex, what have you been eating? So we're gonna do some cooking now. We've been cooking our own meals pretty much every day here in Houston. So we don't have a pressure cooker, so we had to get some canned beans, not as healthy, but yeah, it does still say organic dark red kidney beans. And over here we got some organic tofu, broccoli, okra, spinach, and carol's cleaning. What are you cleaning inside of the broccoli? Broccoli, yeah. And the rice. Mm -hmm. yeah. What are we going to do? Just fry the tofu? Yeah, with the vegetables and also with the rice and beans separately. Like El Nido. Yeah. Yeah, but we didn't really cook beans that much there. Mm -hmm. So regarding the gut issues that I mentioned before, 
It's actually a problem that I've had for about five or six years now. I've just never brought it up because while we were traveling the first year and a half, I was pretty much fine. I didn't have the issues anymore, but probably about five years ago when I lived here, there was a year that I got like really sick. It was some sort of like stomach or intestinal inflammation or disease. Never really got to the bottom of it, but for about a year, I pretty much never left the house. Like I didn't do anything. I couldn't really go out. I had like horrible nausea all the time and the symptoms would be weird. I'd have like weird uh, muscle spasms in different areas. My mind would be foggy as well, headaches. And it was like this like every day, but then yeah, I just randomly got better. And then while we were traveling, I didn't have any problems. So that's why I've never brought it up before. But towards the end of our stay in the Philippines this time, I started getting bad again and then in the Algarve I had a few episodes and in Mexico also had a few episodes, especially towards the end. I'm not sure if the food poisoning that I got in Mexico just screwed something up down there but yeah I got really bad and then we came here to Houston and I've just been bad pretty much all the time, uh, yeah just been struggling and we haven't really been out at all, we were supposed to go to Austin and make some videos there but I just haven't hel felt um, healthy. So we're hoping that when we go to Brazil, I can check it up and maybe get to the, the root cause and find out what I have so I can like treat it properly. But yeah, for now, I remember last time I just have to eat super clean. So nothing like fatty, um, nothing processed as well. Try and eat organic stuff. So yeah, it's gonna be hard when we go to the Dominican Republic to always eat healthy when you're traveling, but yeah, gonna have to work it out somehow. And that's why I got all these supplements. So last time I had this issue, I took all this stuff here. Slippery elm bark, marshmallow root. That's the stuff you saw earlier, the turmeric apple cider vinegar. I even got this, ashwagandha for anxiety and stress. Cause yeah, the, the gut stuff gives me anxiety issues, the gut problems, L-glutamine. And then this is just a probiotic, so. I'm not going to take them all on our travels, but I'll definitely take the probiotic, probably this, and uh, turmeric, and hopefully that will keep me okay. So we've got the rice cooking in there now. Got the tofu frying. Usually tofu takes only around like 10 minutes, right? Yeah, it's fast. Maybe not even that. Yeah, so we leave that in, in there. You're gonna put soy sauce for a bit of flavor. Soy sauce and oyster sauce. Yeah, that's something we found out in the Philippines as well, right? Mm -hmm. We never used oyster sauce. Yeah, but it, it makes a difference. Yeah, huge difference in the taste. And this has been the savior during the period of just being stuck at home all the time. The Euros. So pretty much been watching all the, the football. So yeah, at least that's given me something to do besides editing videos. So this is the veggie meal, quite a lot of protein with the beans, the tofu, somebody else thinks that it smells pretty good, I don't know who. Carol went for the egg on hers, two eggs right? Yeah, two eggs. Oh, even more protein. Mm-hmm. It smells good doesn't it? <laughs> she doesn't even like tofu, I've tried to feed her before, <laughs> maybe a bean. Oh, you like the beans, eh? Mm. 
Yeah, we've been trying to put on some weight as well during this uh, downtime because, as we mentioned in the past, we lost a lot of weight in Mexico from the food poisoning. I wasn't joking when I said I lost around eight kilos. I think I, when I arrived here, I weighed myself and I was uh, 149 pounds which I haven't been that low in ages. I'm not sure what that is in kilos, I'll write it down. But yeah, usually at my lowest, I'm like 155. So yeah, 149 was way too low for me. And right now I'm around like 152, 153. So yeah, at least gain some back. So before I close out this video, I thought I'd show some of the new electronics and some of the new gadgets that we bought. That was also a big reason why we came here to the US because yeah, things are a lot cheaper here. Like previously we were in Mexico and Portugal and the laptop that I got would literally be like $800, $900 more over there or even more expensive. So yeah, I really didn't want to spend all that. So I ended up getting the new MacBook 16. So yeah, I've never used a, a MacBook before, so I'm just getting used to it because it's a different operating system than Windows, obviously. And even the editor, I'm using Final Cut Pro now, before I used Adobe Premiere Pro. I'm really liking it, it's really responsive, really powerful laptop. But yeah, just getting used to it because Apple's um, really different to Windows. Before I had a Dell XPS 15 which was a really good laptop. I got that in 2017 and it's lasted all this time, but like the last two years, it hasn't had a battery. The power adapter's kind of broken as well. The speaker's broken. So yeah, it was time to get a new one. And I actually sold that on eBay, I think for about $400. I just sent it yesterday. So yeah, I decided to jump to Mac as well because over the years I've had issues with like Windows updates and then even the last upgrade of Adobe Premiere Pro, I was having um, loads of issues exporting. So yeah, I'm just tired of all these issues and people always talk about how reliable Macs are and stuff and the software. So yeah, I thought I'd give it a go and so far so good. The weird thing is though, now the new laptops, they only have USB-C, not USB. So either side, that's all they have, the only ports that they have, USB-C. So I got one of these as well, that kind of has like a HDMI, has a USB, SD card readers, all sorts of stuff. So yeah, definitely need one of those. And I also got some external SSDs, really like these. Before I had an external hard drive, but the problem with this one, it's a lot cheaper, but if you drop this, it's pretty much uh, broken because there's loads of components inside. And these here are shockproof. They won't really break even if you drop them. So yeah, I got two of those. One's two terabytes and that one's one terabyte. Oh, and the laptop is also uh, one terabyte and 32 gigs of RAM and i9 processor, if any of you understand that stuff. And the last thing I got was the new iPhone 12 Pro. So yeah, I just got that a few weeks ago. The phone I've been using all this time was a uh, iPhone 7. I think I got that like four or five years ago and it still works and it was refurbished at the time. But I was kind of worried of it breaking at some point because yeah, I think it's, it's due to start having some problems. So yeah, I thought it was worth getting the upgrade. And then I'll probably sell that one in Brazil because you can still sell them for quite a lot. Oh, and one more thing, I also got the GoPro 9, which is what I'm using right now. I had the 8, and it actually broke on the last vlog that we filmed in Mexico. So, yeah, that was uh, pretty lucky, I guess, because if it broke before, I would have been a bit screwed. But, yeah, that broke, and I got the 9. I'd been wanting to get the 9 anyway. It has, like, a front screen that I can see here, and overall, it should be a bit better. So, yeah, that's all the gear I got. Besides that, just um, some new clothes, stuff like that. Getting ready for Dominican Republic. And that will be where the next video is. Really looking forward to going there, a new Caribbean island. So this was just a quick update video of what we've been up to. Um, we're not always traveling, right? There's, there is downtime and we've been here for like weeks not doing much. Um, yeah, just playing with the, the dogs, editing and watching football and that's pretty much it. So in the next video, we'll be back to our normal kind of travel video. So stay tuned for that. As always, just drop a like on this video to support us. Subscribe if you like to see more videos like this and the ones from Dominican Republic. Follow us on Instagram and we'll see you in the next one.